Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here joined by Mr. C. Zyklinski, the CEO of WAM Token. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> so, beginning, first starting off, WAM Token. Is it WAM or is it WAM? It's WAM. <laughs> and what does WAM stand for? It stands for We Are All Models. Mm -hmm. It means everyone can be a model and get a reward for their being modeling. You know, you don't have to be like a big influencer like in Instagram in order to get money for it. Mm -hmm. In our case, we want all people, re regular people from the street, they can now take a picture, upload it and get money for it and get monetized on their data mm -hmm. that I will explain later on. So then what is the goal of WAM token? I mean, uh, I, I assume, uh, no, we are all models and I assume it's related to fashion, but then what would be the ultimate goal of WAM token then? So we are focusing on the e-commerce industry. Mm -hmm. As you probably know, it's a huge one, $1.7 trillion mm -hmm. only last year in 2018. Mm -hmm. Out of it, the biggest vertical in the e-commerce is the fashion industry, mm -hmm. which is $500 billion only last year. Mm -hmm. We decided to focus on this first vertical but later on, all the other verticals will come as well to the platform because it's a huge opportunity for us. And we decided to do, to do that because we also have great partners in the fashion industry. Mm -hmm. So then before we get on the fashion industry, uh, the, I'd, like to get, I'd like to touch on the benefits of using WAM token. So user benefits, merchant benefits, because it's e-commerce related service using right. blockchain, right? So right. how does the benefit go? So it's all start today when the, uh, uh, you know, it's something that, uh, uh, what we call the digital footprint. The digital footprint is all the data that we, the users, mm -hmm. leave behind us when we go through applications, social media, website. Mm -hmm. Now, in specific to the e-commerce industry, it can be our shopping habits. Mm -hmm. What we like, what we don't like, how much do we pay, how much do we return, what is our brand loyalty. Now, this information is very critical to the retailers today for the e-commerce mm -hmm. in order to search for relevant uh, customers and to send you personalized offers. Mm -hmm. But as you probably know, the big data giant companies, Google, Facebook, and others, keep this data to themselves. Yes. They decide what to, do, what to share and to whom to share it. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, what we are doing here. Uh, and the usage here of the blockchain in a way is that, first of all, we are taking this digital footprint, the shopping habits database, the huge one, separating from it the user personal information, mm. storing it on the blockchain. By doing that now, we have two great databases for the benefits of everyone. Mm -hmm. The retailers now can come to search these digital shopping habits, find for the relevant customers anonymously, mm -hmm. and able to send you personalized offer. Mm -hmm. In parallel to that, the user personal information, which is stored on the blockchain, makes the user anonymous, give now power to the user. Mm -hmm. Now they are able to control the data, what to share and to whom, and to monetize this data. Mm -hmm. So we have here these two stakeholders that get these benefits from that. So, if, so while I protect my own identity, uh, my digital footprints, it's will be sent out to retailers on an anonymous condition so that they would be able to provide a better service to me. Right. It all starts <coughs> when you have this great database. Mm -hmm. So we give them first a retail power tool that allow them to analyze this data, for, uh, search for re uh, relevant customers, mm -hmm. and then to be able to send you personalized offer. Mm -hmm. Now, since all GDPR compliant, you can decide if you want to share or not this data. You decide if you want to get an offer or to get arrested by them, by any uh, irrelevant uh, offer for you. Mm -hmm. But since it's only relevant because we make it only relevant according to your needs. Mm -hmm. Now you have the power to accept it, GDPR compliant, and you get money for it, reward for any of this uh, acceptance. So now let's dive into the topic, the big one, fashion. Sure. So WAM Token has a huge partner. Uh, personally, I'm a huge fan, which is Fashion TV. I've been watching their show contents ever since I was in middle school or high school. So how did it all Me go? <laughs> how did it all go? And uh, what are you guys looking for from the partnership? Okay, so we have two great partners. One of them is uh, Fashion TV, as you mentioned, just in few words. They existed more than 20 years in more than 200 countries already. They are viewed at more than 500 million 
household today. Mm -hmm. Out of it is 230 household, million households in Asia only, excluding China. Mm -hmm. So it's a huge mass market that they are bringing to one platform. Mm -hmm. They are connected with the top brands, doing very well in the social, millions of likes, for example, in Google, Facebook, and others. And the agreement that we have with them is that our, uh, they are uh, mark doing all the marketing of the one platform and all the apps that are coming through their social media, airtime, and, and more. And also, we are going, they are going to use the one token as a payment method. Mm -hmm. So this is regarding the fashion TV. Another well, one... Well, when it comes to fashion, people will be able to use one token to pay for their products. Is right, mm -hmm. right. So they're able to... And, and in general, you know, it's like... Uh, today, everybody looking for the killer app. Mm -hmm. Some, uh, uh, something that will bring the mass from the street to use something which relate to the blockchain. Yes. We believe one is the killer app because we bring the mass from the street from all fashion TV fans and more and more like that and other apps. Mm -hmm. Allow them to buy real fashion clothes mm -hmm. using the blockchain platform even they don't know it's under the hood here. Mm -hmm. So this is really the killer app here. Mm -hmm. So what about InFash then? InFash is a innovative social app application, a user generation content, style Instagram. When you take a picture of yourself and upload it, but instead of just getting thumbs up or like, mm -hmm. you get money for it. Yes, that's the killer part, yes. Yeah, <laughs> you did upload, you get money, another money, and more and more. Now, the best uh, part here is that they have AI technology mm -hmm. that takes your look, breaks it into pieces. Shirt, pants, shoes, glasses, everything. Now, since they're already connected with uh, more than thousands of brands globally, also some Korean, mm -hmm. uh, let's say I come to the app and I see your picture and I like your shirt. Mm -hmm. When I click on it, immediately I get identical or similar to that options to buy in the top brands. Mm -hmm. And when there is a purchase, there is always affiliation fee that comes from the retailer. Yes, yes. And InFesh is getting it, but together with WAM, because this is the motto of WAM, they are giving it back to the community, mm -hmm. to the shopper, to the model, to the app itself. So everybody are getting rewarded all the time for the activity and engagement in the platform. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it's, it could be a sensitive question, but uh, how much would I get paid for every likes then? So it's dependent. There is a reward, there is a... There are smart contracts mm -hmm. on the blockchain in fully decentralized and transparent that everyone can see. So there is different level of rewarding according to your activity and according to who is the stakeholders because there is a user, a shopper, a model, an influencer, a stylist. So everyone is getting different type of rewarding per their activity and everything will be in the smart contracts so everybody can see it. Mm -hmm. And uh like you mentioned, uh, WAM token is planning for, well, has made massive partnerships as well as uh, future plans that will go out globally because fashion has no borders, right? So uh, I wanted to ask you about the expansion part. How would you, how do you plan to expand across the globe? So we are already in a way expand across the globe because fashion TV is globally all over the world. Mm -hmm. Uh, Infesh is connected to brands all over the world. So mm -hmm. it's not a local company whatsoever. All this platform is totally globally from day one. Mm -hmm. And additionally, we co continue to bring additional apps, global apps, mm -hmm. with the millions of users that are coming here. Mm -hmm. We are talking also with influencers, high profile influencers from the fashion industry, for example, with their millions of users mm -hmm. to come when it's, there is a connection now with the WAM and InFesh, for example, they are coming and bringing their followers together. Mm -hmm. So it's all about it. I would like to say even uh, something uh, interesting about what we give now to the retailer on top of what we said before, <laughs> if I may. Yes, yes. Because, you know, the retailer, they have now this huge database of the digital footprint, the shopping habits. We yes, gave yes. them the retail power tool to analyze it. But we created for them a dashboard for the marketing campaigns. Mm -hmm. Now imagine Nike is coming to Seoul mm -hmm. and want to do marketing campaign for black running shoes mm -hmm. for men in the age of 25, 35. They didn't buy shoes in the last year. Mm -hmm. Now, all this data existed in this database. The, the dashboard that we are giving them, they can simulate in advance 
the, how many potential buyers will they have? Mm -hmm. What is the potential cost of acquisition? What is the potential ROI? Maybe it's not good enough campaign. Maybe they need to change their parameter until it's bingo and only then to send it out to the users as personalized offers. Mm -hmm. And once they did it, now they can do real time with the dashboard on the ROI, cost of acquisition. This is the beauty of having this big data and all the analytics tools above it. Mm -hmm. So uh, retailers will be able to make better offers to customers based on the marketing analysis that the right. WAM token provides. Right. So uh, 2019 is a big year for not WAM token because the Q1 starts funding as well as token generation event. So I heard from heard pre and pre to the interview that you guys started your token sales this week. So I wanted to ask you how is it going so far and where do you plan to stop it or where is your market cap maybe? So we officially, as you mentioned, started the fundraising uh, this week in Korea uh, and we are excited with that <laughs> and uh, we hope to finalize the, this uh, fundraising this quarter mm. and plan to release our alpha and beta releases later on this year. Up to now it's going very well. We are speaking here in the conference, have a booth, a lot of uh, meetings with uh, VCs and other investors, private investors, so up to now. It's going very well. Uh, and the total market cap of it you guys are aiming for? Okay, we want to raise $24 million, mm -hmm. mainly for marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, our team, our executive, uh, executive team has past experience of bringing hundreds of millions of users up to now to apps and uh, managing hundreds of millions of dollars in budget, mainly in marketing, similar to what we are going to do here with WAM mm -hmm. on marketing. Well, that is all the questions we have today. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. That was Mr. Asi Ziklinski, the CEO of WAM Token. Thank you for watching.